Nigeria will be among the top 80 countries on the Global Human Capital Index by building a healthier, better educated and empowered citizens by 2030. Vice President Kashim Shetima stated this while inaugurating the HCD 2.0 strategy during a meeting of the steering committee of the Human Capital Development Program at the presidential villa. Again, State House correspondent Abdurrahman Jibrila reports. Ambitious but quite achievable, government call on Nigerians to embrace the Human Capital Development Program. Vice President Kashim Shatima recalled how Nigeria had faced a stark reality in 2018 when the nation's ranking on global human capital indices showed critical gaps in health, education and employment. I urge you, let us work as a team. <coughs> Nigeria is not where it ought. Be rest assured that we will drive this process in partnership with our friends in the development community, in the NGOs, in ECOWAS, in the governance board. This meeting is showing the urgency to address situations that compelled Nigeria to prioritize human capital development, leading to the launch of the HCD 1.0 to build a healthy, educated, and productive Nigeria by 2030. And then cross cutting elements such as gender and equal opportunities, digital economies, kind of futuristic sectors. Uh, climate change or sustainability, and then there are enablers such as data um, and such as the governance structure of which the steering committee is the apex of the governance structure of the, of the program. But the World Bank is already investing a lot in this area, and we are very pleased to see the leadership of the Vice President who will drive this process, working with all stakeholders across federal ministries, but also states, governors, and states. Uh, officials uh, and all the other stakeholders to really accelerate. It's really about accelerating uh, the efforts and the, and the work in this area. This engagement also highlighted the importance of robust monitoring, evaluation, accountability and learning processes to ensure transparency and effectiveness in tracking progress. From the State House, Brahman Jibrila, NTA News.